The Philippine Health Department confirms the detection of five more samples infected by the BA.2.12.1 sublineage of the Omicron variant, all of which are in the Western Visayas. Three of the cases, all fully vaccinated, were returning overseas Filipinos from the United States. Two were local cases. Fortunately, all have finished isolation and are now tagged as recovered. The lone case of the BA.4 has also recovered, but test results of the patient's 33 close contacts in the flight to Manila are still being verified. In the meantime, most of the cases of another cluster of COVID-19 in Palawan reported in the second week of May were either asymptomatic or exhibited mild symptoms. Their samples have been sent to the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine to see if they were infected by a sublineage of the Omicron variant. Despite the presence of more transmissible Omicron sublineages, Dr. Edsel Salvagna, a member of the DOH Technical Advisory Group, doesn't see the need to require pre-departure testing for incoming travelers who have already received their booster dose. What we're seeing is that these cases, especially among those who are vaccinated are uh, asymptomatic or mild. And so they are uh, manageable and it doesn't seem like our healthcare system is, uh, is being threatened by these cases. Updated guidelines have allowed boosted travelers to skip pre-departure testing when coming into the country. Latest DOH data show a slight uptick in cases have been recorded in the national capital region and the rest of Luzon since mid-May. 13 of the 17 regions in the country have escalated to low risk from minimal risk in terms of cases after logging a positive two-week growth rate. Salvania, however, notes the numbers are lower than they projected. We actually expected an increase much higher than this. Um, what we're seeing now is about 200 cases a day, which is, uh, as Bev had said, 9% from last week, and then there was another 9% increase before that. But what that te is telling me is even as we increase our mobility drastically, we're not seeing drastic increases in cases. And why is that? Because our interventions are working. While the rise in cases is not a cause for alarm, health officials point out the country can only keep its COVID numbers low if the public maintains minimum health standards and gets vaccinated and boosted. Rafael Bosano, ABS-CBN News.